Well, they look happy enough, don't they, the uh, English pair? It's a big occasion for them. You could argue their, um, their best is behind them. Marcus Ellis has suffered a few injuries in the last couple of years and um, that's made things difficult. And these two are on the ascendancy. I mean, what an 18 months or so they've had. You look at the bare head-to-head -head and Ellis and Smith have a 4-2 advantage, but it doesn't really tell you the whole story because these two have won the last two meetings and they'll start favourites today. They're, they're way higher now in the rankings kind of going in opposite directions, these two pairs. And that was a big occasion because the European Games is a, it's a free hit for European top players without the likes of the Asian opponents, good ranking points. And so getting to the final for the French was massive. Uh, and to beat Ellison Smith in that semi-final was, uh, you know, that's hugely for. They, both of these pairs would have given everything for that match. So let's uh, give you some information about these players. Ellis and Smith actually have been up as high as seven in the world, but that was a long time ago. See it on that graphic there. It was back in June of 2018, so you're talking five years. Born in Huddersfield in West Yorkshire, now lives in the southeast of England. And of course, he got that bronze in the men's doubles in the Rio Olympics with Chris Langridge. And uh, with his partner, Lauren Smith, partner on the court and in real life, they uh, have won two Commonwealth Games silver medals, 2018 and 2022 in Birmingham last year. A European Games gold and a European Championship silver. Took them three games to get past the uh, Aussies, Somerville and Chu, in the first round. That ranking of five was at the start of the year. Got to the semis of the Indonesia Masters in January, these two. You heard Bobby mention their European game silver in June. And they have won a World Tour title. They won the uh, Swiss Open, which is a Super 300, a couple of years ago. Didn't have to play in the first round. Red to play. Fabio Lopez from Brazil in the chair for this one. Yasan Sarali of Mauritius is the service judge.
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith, England. And on my left, Tom Jiquel and Delphine Delhul, France. Delphine Delhul served to Marcus Ellis, love all, play. One of those matches where you start to fear a little bit for the English pair if they don't make a good start. So it's over. We saw the importance of that um, end of the court in the last mixed doubles against two reasonably evenly matched pairs, two quality pairs, let's say. And from this end of the court where the English are now, the Koreans really dominated. So I think that would suggest that the English are on the better end and might therefore get a pretty healthy start. How much that means for the rest of the match, we'll have to wait and see. Well, you can't give uh, Tom Shakil that kind of an opportunity and expect to get away with it. Only halfway up the court. I don't think it's his birthday today, was it? <laughs> Very kind from Marcus Ellis. <laughs> and again, Smith was right into the hitting zone of Delphine Del Rue at the net. Easy put away. Yeah, that just outstretched Smith, then suddenly they're on the defensive. They'll have to, the English will have to prevent giving away the lift. I've been saying it a, a lot on this court, taking that initiative early if they can, and finding another way to hold the net or play into the midcourt, keep the shuttle going down. That's the big challenge on this end of the court. You lift it up to uh, Tom Shikel, like you said, Trevor. Two, and it's three. not long before the rally's over. Heard the message there, go forward. They don't want there Smith and Ellis sitting on the back foot because that's not going to work. the England uh, coaches barking orders at this pair like we heard earlier that go forward message that's Julian Robertson on the left Nathan Robertson on the right no relation but um, they've got a important role to play here today please back on court That's what um, Lauren Smith's got to do, though. She's doing the right thing there. The coach has said it. Push forwards in defence. Try and get that control of the rally early. It will make for more errors. But it's the only chance they've got on this end, I think.
And that was a great shot from Ellis early on in that rally. Beautiful block. And maybe a few more errors than we were expecting to see from the French pair right now. You see how high Delphine Delru was up the court in defence then. Seven, four. They lost the rally, but it was a terrific shot here. Just it was going up too much, that's the problem. It's, diff it's such a challenge, but the world's best are going to have to manage that somehow Please. in the later, later stages Please. of this Please. event. OK, no more delay. So the shuttle in play. Wouldn't be the first time that either of these pairs have got the hurry up from an umpire. The first time we've seen that on this court today. Five. Have to serve from below 115 centimetres, and so this judge right on the case with that illegal serve from Smith. That's good from Lauren Smith. Best rally we've seen by a long way. Yeah, and a big point for the English pair to win that. Five. Oh, she was unsure, wasn't she? Touch of slice on the shot brings the shuttle down in front of uh, Lauren Smith. And she can't move her feet quick enough. The reaction time, she has to lean forwards. Shot quality then struggling. <laughs> I think you'll need that, Trevor. Over Maybe. Nine, seven. <laughs> what happened here? Ah, he clashed it on the, uh, well, I don't know how to be polite, the backside of his partner. Play on. <laughs> he was suddenly looking at an empty hand, thinking <laughs> what's going on here. A big grin on Delphine Del Rue's face as well. Ooh, nearly, the legs. nearly. Over eight, nine. Didn't have actually much option there. That attacking shot from Delphine was right in his pocket. Well left. Challenge. We're going to ask Corkai to look, and this is close, I think. Out. Whether it's clipped any part of the line, I don't know, but I think it's worth the inquiry. But just wide. 
challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Nine all. Play. Wow, that was wild. That was on the blue carpet, I think. Over. It was. Ten, nine. It's the equivalent of throwing a dart and hitting the wooden part of the cabinet. <laughs> Just pushed it wide. Several over, ten off. Well, they're applauding the rally, but for me, the defence from Ellis there didn't have enough aggression. A bit too passive. Well, compared to some of the matches we've seen, it certainly is a little slower, this, in terms of getting on with things, both pairs. So a narrow advantage for the French at the mid-game break. There are pairs with high sights on going far in the event and looking to medal, and I think there are pairs that accept the fact that getting really far in an event is going to be difficult. This result today is massive for Ellis and Smith. I can understand them being quite um, conservative and uh, thoughtful about that. And you're doing the right thing, you're hunting up to the corners. Just remember, he's to make sure we're high up. No, he's not doing it. He's not doing it even from the mid. And if he does, let him take one. Yeah. So remember, when, when you're in the right box and he's in his forehand side, he wants to cut. So just a little bit up. You push down the line, set on your line, ready. Yeah, all right? If you play flat, hold your ground. Right, because we still need yeah, to be right. Right style, come on, let's go, come on. 11-10, play. Oh. Nice. I understand now a bit better about why Julian uh, Robertson was applauding the point they lost a little bit earlier. It's the style he's after. He wants them choosing the right manner at which to uh, to approach this. And they're happy with what they're trying to do. It's a lot to ask to expect brilliant shot quality all the time. And I think I was probably being a bit harsh on, uh, on the English. Yeah, I mean, I think they were applauding the intent, weren't yes. they? Not, not the execution, obviously, because they lost that point that we're referring to, but... You can make an argument that the tactics are reasonable enough because it's been competitive right from the start. That's a shame. 13-11. She's got the half-court lift there. And the one-two attack didn't quite come off, but getting that attack, again, the intent is all well and good. <laughs> Left a bit of a gap here. For the French to hit into. Not right, a bad position, down the actually. Middle. Well, yeah, they weren't actually that far apart. It's just I think they both left it for each other. They did, yeah, neither committed. It's amazing how often you see that, though. The shuffle goes right between a doubles pair, and neither of them make a, a motion towards it. And that's nicely done by Del Rue. And they're just starting to take control here. The French pair.
Nice from Delphine, pushing forwards. England coach is still content, they were applauding that. Made the mistake, but I think Smith, with a little bit of deception on the clear, keeping Delphine in the back corner was the right idea. It just didn't quite come off. challenges call out. Well, server's called out, but the uh, French pair want Hawkeye to check this. You heard Marcus there <laughs> clearly say, I thought that was out too. Challenge and so it was. <laughs> One challenge remaining. Service over. 13, 16. Oh. Play. Lovely angle. Serves over. 17, 13. Mark is trying to be deceptive here. Again, the intense there. The quality wasn't. Allow Delphine to come in and choose her shot. Bit of luck for Lauren Smith. Service over, 14, 17. Had it not clipped the net, it would have been a good solid shot into the body of Del Root. Start to finish. 15, 17. Thank you. Players back on court. The pin. Okay, okay. <laughs> Play. Hey. 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 
over, 18-15. There's a bit too much time in between points here, isn't there? Yeah. You lose your rhythm, even as players. I know you want to keep concentrating, but it can't help the nerves all that much. He's mentioned it to them a couple of times, his chair umpire Fabio Lopez. Just keeping themselves in touch, Ellison Smith. Seventeen, eighteen. Well, from seventeen, fourteen down. Ellison Smith have played well, and the errors are coming from the other side of the net now. This time from Del Rue. Oh. Better length in defence. Deep into the rear corners. Oh. Del Rue, talking to herself or whispering to her partner, maybe. Wow, what a save from Del Root. Great lift that from Ellis as well. Oh! Wow, fantastic rally. And that's going to be a massive psychological boost for the English pair. They're on terms again now, 18 all. That was a terrific rally to win, it really was. Had everything. Look at this. Out of position. Incredible defense like that off the floor. Oh, it didn't make it. That was the final shot. No. Watch this. <coughs> Go up. Don't step back from Juliet Robertson. Keeping pushing his players forwards. 50 shots in that one. Show you. Come, come, show you. Just like you said, what a point to win, not just for the uh, for the scoreboard, 18 all, they're suddenly back, but also just simply gives them hope. from Delphine. Over 19-18. I do think whoever loses this game is going to be incredibly disappointed because both pairs have had chances here. Yeah, they have. The English were uh, on the attack there. It was Delphine that just had the uh, confidence in a slightly defensive position to hold the net instead of lifting out again. <laughs> Great rally, well played the French. 20, game point, 18. They had their tactics spot on there. Who's covering what? Fierce battle in the midcourt. So two game points here. Quality shot from Delphine to set up Tom. Can Chiquel and Del Rue hold their nerve? <laughs> yes, they can. 21-18, it finishes. It could have gone either way in truth, that game. I think Ellis and Smith will be very disappointed. 
but they kept their nerve when they had to. And Shaquille anticipated that and played the easy kill. Look at that brave in defence, crouched from Delphine first, then off the hip from Tom, refusing to drop back in court. And that brave approach got the reward. But it's always sometimes we need to play it there, but when we do it, then we know he will come with something, so we have to be ready in the zone, because very often he will come with speed. I think we can do it when we are high, yeah. when we are low. We yeah. And if you come, then actually if you can play over him, because he's stepping forward, then he do it. Yeah. yeah. In, the, in the rally mark here, yeah, in the end, yeah. when we have the high pace and we hit his backhand and he's stressed, he played cross cross. It's really important if the, it's, the, it's the box area where they'll try to get, us, uh, get themselves forward in that formation. She'll go and he'll be right up. So the, so the deep corners is what's actually affected him. Yeah. And then it's looking, it's looking to see where he is. He's not cutting anything out. When we're high lifted to the back, he's not cutting anything out in front. So we've got to go again. We've just got to be really disciplined and really solid. Yeah, because we will get that opportunity. All right, OK? Remember what you said. Sometimes it's a little adjustments in speed. He'll sometimes try to change it up by going all in. So it's the readiness here. So we, we can't give him any temperatures in the mid, especially him. Yeah, it's really important that we try to get... If they get us below tape, we have got to go out. I don't want her charging in. Yeah. And, and, and the same thing. Keep flicking. Yeah. The same, when we flick wide on the right box, we always play straight the club. Yeah, we, we look to see where he goes. If not, we go. We go back out again. Second game, love all, play. Interesting to see how Alice and Smith in particular respond to the disappointment of losing that opening game. Got Julian Robertson out there talking them through no! tactics. It was really easy and clear to understand what he wants from his players today. And if they can match it with their execution, they've got a good chance here, but England, I can tell, are intimidated, so to speak, by uh, Tom G. Kell. They don't want him in charge in the mid-court. They also don't want to be blocking to the net too much, it seems, in defence. They want to be driving and whipping through and getting it away. They don't want Delphine powering forwards, he said. If the French here can... Uh, get the shuttle behind the English in the rear corners, flat, using that, you know, into the drift, it's going to be very difficult, I think, for uh, Marcus and Lauren. Two steps over, two all. Fantastic anticipation. He's a big man. He's six foot one. He was there in about two strides. He was, wasn't he? So early. And look how close up the court they're defending. And she's in good position. And Tom pounces that loose shot from Marcus. Some goal too high. Well, we saw. 
Lauren Smith penalised for that in the first game. This time it's uh, Del Rue's turn to full foul of service judge Yasen Sorelli. Return. Over you saw Marcus four. shaping to cover the flick serves here with his racket before he actually did a little racket movement. Just wanted to put Tom off. It's almost like teasing him. Go on, flick me. A double bluff, perhaps. Yeah, there is a lot of psychology that goes on out there. Not just about hitting shots. Goes on in the head as well. What a serve. Five, four. <laughs> the slightest of smiles there, wasn't there? Come on, oh! Winning that battle for me, Delphine. Where the uh, whoever's Marcus. in the mid to net area, and it can often be the male players. But she's the one that's able to react quicker and keep a quality of shot so far. That'll do. Doesn't matter that it <laughs> smashed into the tape and crawled over. Nearly took the net with it, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, if you do that at your average leisure centre, the net collapses. <laughs> if your average leisure centre player can hit the shuttle like these guys, I'll be quite impressed. Better from the English. Seven, five. Tom Jukel's lift here. This shot. Oh, okay. No, this one here, that's right. Nice and high, but I don't think it quite had the length. No, it was not bad, actually. Just two quality shots from Marcus and Len Lauren. Immediately, the challenge was requested. My instincts were in, of course. Lauren advising for Marcus to watch the shot while he leaves it. So that's two of them thinking maybe it's out. And the line judge. See what Hawkeye says. This is the only one that matters. Flush on the line. It seemed to drift slightly back in, didn't it? I've given up working this drift out. Me too. <laughs> I've had enough now. <laughs> The English are trying to get Delphine Deru at the back almost immediately. Almost every serve's flicking her. And whenever they can, they just don't want her pressurising that mid-court, hitting down the four-course as well. And you can understand why getting the attack for Tom is not what the English want. The 
gamble didn't quite work. Eight, seven. That's superb from Delru again. Standing her ground, getting a racket on it, even just blocking off. Nine, Terrific technique. Seven. And again, brave. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Just copes with that so well. Again, right on the hip of Marcus Ellis. Do nothing with it at all. Eleven, seven, interval. So a handy lead for the French pair as they chase a straight grand win over Ellis and Smith. When he starts to come with all the energy, when he do that, then he comes with a lot of speed and move forward. Then remember, don't battle too much, play over. Yeah. Sometimes like you did here. But at the end it was good. Yes, when you push two times, and then we block and yeah. things like that. And still the opening is for both of them back. It's the first push on the return. It's the first push in the She's the little guy. So, like so, so we can lift, we can lift, you just go, like, I want you to just go to go again, sir. She's in that ground yet, we go again, sir. Yeah? Every now, if he comes out, then we get the blocking quickly, but we've got to be a straight block. Yeah, so we actually make her move with a little bit of whip, so she's got to cover it. Yeah, all right? But uh, no hesitation now. Yeah? Go and get it, go and get it. Eleven, seven, play. <laughs> Service over, eight, eleven. If the comeback is going to happen, it needs to happen quickly. Hey. For the English pair. Yeah, Robertson, the coach there, was just saying, no hesitation, go and get it. They've uh, identified their tactics. They seem quite clear. It's obvious on screen, and you can hear them from the coaches. Execution is key, and then they've just got to be brave, get their attitude into a winning, positive mentality, and that is tough. I just feel like the English are playing like the underdogs. I want to see them feel like they can take charge. That's better. What a shame. That was more like it. Good pace on the shuttle from Marcus Ellis. Looks like they're wilting, doesn't it, now? Ellis to Smith. It's really solid from the French. Even when they make a bit of a mess and get tied up here, 
They both go for this. And then the communication steps in. Lauren sees there's a space. Can't find it. French have got that um, youthful confidence, haven't they? Nothing to lose sort of feel. They're going out in every tournament and really attacking it. I feel like the English expect a certain level and that's their goal, I think. They're lacking that belief in themselves to take on anybody in the world. Well. Lauren, it seems, wanted to challenge that. Don't think she'd have had any joy if she had of looking at the replay. No. <laughs> that smash was well placed. Wonderful. Big fist pump from Tom G. Kell as well. 17, They've been excellent in this second game, the French pair. It's just a pity from Ellison Smith's point of view because in the first game, it really was anyone's. It was nip and tuck. They've just kind of disintegrated. They've just handed the initiative to the French pair early in this game and it's uh, Over 10, never, never changed. Oh, keeping them on court. That's better from a... Uh... Well, we've been playing for 42 minutes, and... Yeah. OK, the first game was close-ish, but it's not like we've had an awful lot of very long rallies. We've had a lot of time between serves, between points. Yeah. Good umpiring. See, that rally should be over. Terrific defence from the French. Gets it done in the end, Ellis. 11-17. Yeah, generated that opening. Trouble here. Tom's getting carded. Yeah, and he's absolutely right. You can't just walk off the court without checking with the chair umpire. I like that. It's about time we see some uh, authority being uh, asserted. Could have been any four of them, to be honest. Yeah, it was just whoever was going to do it next. I don't think he'd have been doing it, or well, certainly not again if it was kind of 16 all rather than 18 12. So next time it's a point. Good communication from the French. 
And how fast is Tom Chikel? From where he started, when it left Marcus Ellis's racket, to where he finished behind the shuttle and got back in position. Very athletic. So that error brings up eight match points for Shaquille and Del Root. <laughs> it's not over just yet, Trevor, is it? One of our sports more expressive players, I think. Delphine Del Rue. They've been great today, the French. Gone. Tactics from England, I think, have been reasonably good. Their execution wasn't quite up to it, but I, it was brave. I have sympathy with um, Little Smith there, because <laughs> Chiquel should have been ready. Yeah. Could have had to play a let. That'll do, though, for the French pair. 21-13 in that second game. Ellis and Smith well beaten in the end by the world number eight pair. Who will progress through to the third round at the expense of Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith. Quite simply, the better pair today. Yeah. Uh, fully deserved win. Thank you. Just flipped the tape, but to be honest, it would have only delayed the inevitable anyway, you suspect. The scoreline as it was. So the French pair, comfortable winners in the end. 21-18, 21-13, 46 minutes, the official match time. Well, we're going to stay with doubles, but it's going to be women's doubles next on court number one. We've got the Japanese 14th seeds, Rinne Wanga and Ki Nakanishi, up against the home hopes, Mike and Fruagard and Sarah Tuison, in just a few minutes' time.
Welcome back to the Royal Arena here in Copenhagen. Only six years old, actually. The first ever concert here was by Metallica, I'm told. American heavy rock band. But they've had all kinds of sports here, handball, swimming, boxing. And this week, of course, World Championship Badminton. Women's doubles is next. Iwanga and Nakanishi of Japan against Thurgaard and Tuisson from Denmark. Well, here's the draw. Our match is right at the bottom on the left-hand side. And it looks like Matsuyama and Shida will be the opponents. We're actually covering their match.